All right, Arden, taking a look here at, uh, this is the beginning of uh, 2013, um, right there, end of December, beginning of January of uh, 2013. Um, taking a look at uh, a couple of swings here, and here's a swing uh, off the tee. And again, you know, the, the overall pattern is, is an outstanding move at the ball. Um, you know, I, I really like your, you know, the, the pre-swing with, with the elbow keeping the back arm loose. Um, the way the swing starts, it's just a great throwing pattern. The load is outstanding. Um, we get a good aggressive move at the ball. The barrel uh, staying stacked above the hands here. Okay, barrel above the hands matches up real well. Uh, lead arm is long and relaxed. Back elbow is bent. Okay, um, you know we're off the back side. We're behind the front side uh, through the ball. Okay. So the you know the overall pattern the swing itself uh, matches up real nicely um, based purely on you know the, the mechanics alone uh, to you know the um, pattern that's that's used by the best hitters in baseball. Okay, so you know our overall move at it is is outstanding. Okay, again we want that back leg to load and unload. Okay, we want to hit behind that strong front side. And then once once that heel drops, we're going to stabilize. You know everything stabilizes, and we hit behind that strong front side. You know, and Arden, you're doing a real good job. You know of, of of stabilizing there. You know through contact, the hands are finishing real well. Okay. And again, you know comparing that to Adrian, you know contact, and then within you know three or four frames after contact, he's over, and you're not you're not too far behind him there. Okay, so the hands finishing pretty good. Um, chest not flying off the ball. Okay, so you know the overall pattern is is very very good. All right, this this day we kind of uh, you know had had three areas of main focus. You know, one was you know creating a little bit better front side. Uh, the other one was uh, again the elbow staying bent. It could be bigger with the elbow, but keep it bent. And the other one was that keeping that real steep barrel, which again you made that real good adjustment. Uh, on that day on really keeping that barrel you were kind of getting the barrel back behind your head and it was flat and uh, you really did a real good job uh, of correcting that and keeping the barrel you know nice and steep and really you know I actually like the the steepness of the barrel is, is taller um, on your live swings here than it is off the tee okay so that that's a very nice um, you know steep tall uh, bat that you're keeping there okay and again, we want that barrel working in front of our body. Keep the barrel above the hands uh, for as long as possible. You can see you're matching up really nicely, you know, with those. Okay. So again, you know, keep that barrel tall. Keep it out in front of you. The other thing, uh, you know, again, it was really related to the, you know, the back arm, uh, which also includes the hand, um, was, you know, keeping that elbow really bent. Okay, and again, we talked about, you know, you can be as big as you want with that back elbow as long as it doesn't widen. You know, and I really like this one here in the bottom corner, how it's a little bigger than the others. You see how the elbow works up a little more? Be careful not to work it behind you. you see how Adrian's, you know, it's not like the long bone in his arm gets behind his back. So just like the, the bat is, should work in front of you, uh, try to keep the, the humerus, that long bone in your upper arm, also not kind of pinching back too far. But, but when you go here, you get a real good barrel action there, and that barrel's really nice out in front of you here, okay? That, that's, that's really good there, okay? So, again, and, and I think... We talked about being, you know, bigger with this, but keeping it bent. In other words, you know, allow that bone to turn, allow the elbow to lift more, but, you know, as long as you keep it bent, okay? So we get a real, real nice barrel position there, okay? And this one's good, too, but this one's better. There's, there's a little bit more, you know, elbow action to start things on that one, okay? So that, that's a, that's a great, a great, you know, start to what we're doing. You know, really working it up and keeping it bent. Maybe a little bit of extra pinch there, but um, that's still pretty good. Now, I will say you do widen a little bit more in this one. Um, this one's a little tighter. This one's even better off the tee. Okay, but we're look that that's too wide there. Once you once you kind of start coming down. So I mean, you kind of work up, and then you know, then you kind of widen a little there. 
you know so we need to stay closer to this or maybe you know this is the best of the three off the tee it's obviously easier to focus there okay so you know again you know nice big elbow let the barrel work in front of you like this this is very good um, but then as we slot in here really keep that elbow bent so again it's simple stuff really keep this bent and really keep the barrel working in front of us keep the barrel you know keep the barrel here above the hands you know we want that barrel way here above the hands all the way through okay again you're lining up really nicely there with that okay so tall barrel working in front of you with a bent elbow but a loose relaxed elbow just like this one you know that one's that one's really good the way you work up and through it there okay And good, good loose elbow action. Again, what's our two rules there? Keep that elbow bent. Keep the barrel uh, working in front of us. Nice and tall above the hands. We're just going to, you know, drop that barrel down behind the ball. Okay? Drop the head behind the ball there. Okay? Okay, so, you know, uh, again, kind of perfecting that throwing arm. You know, those were our two areas. Uh, that we were looking at you know the the third area really is you know kind of this this front side getting this strong front side and uh, hitting behind this wall on the front side you know and that that really kind of starts you know starts with the the foot and kind of works its way up um, again we want to land closed on that front side as you know as close as we can <coughs> excuse me um, as close as we can as close as we can here and uh, really keep that that front knee behind that front foot again that front knee is going to land you know just like we start it's it's bent and square when we land um, the foot is square and the knee is slightly bent okay so knee behind foot hip behind knee uh, shoulder behind hip and head behind everything but I, I do think we need to improve our you know our tilt here and and one one area where you really see it is is off the tee you know we can see how our head really stays back behind everything here you know if I take a line and I draw it from your ear and I make that line just straight down here off the tee okay and then we compare that to what we're doing live okay you can see how much more your head is behind you know your front side so we, we really need a, a body position, you know, closer to uh, to this. Okay, where the head really really stays stays behind. Um, obviously, that that's created by you know the, the torso, and we're getting just a little bit more of kind of a, a little bit more of a curvature here. You know, and here we're. You know, a little bit more straight here, and so we've we've got to find a way to, um, you know, to stay more behind that front side, have a stronger front side. Uh, you know, do what you're doing off the tee. You know, live. Um, you can also see it with the hands. You can see here. Um, you know, your hands. You know, are right. You know, right behind your foot there, whereas here, you know. We're, we're out here so that's kind of bringing everything well not that far uh, get that straight down you know right in there okay so there's no question the hands are you know you're hitting the ball deeper and and it's it's mainly related to you know your body position okay, you, you you can see how you know you look closer here your upper you know looks looks more like uh, Adrian's position here um, and even kind of the contact position of the arms, uh, you know, is a little closer here. And that with these, you know, you're kind of getting on top a little bit more and kind of getting out front a little bit more. Okay. But, you know, it's really nothing more than, you know, a better uh, torso position, stronger front side. You know, we want to keep that good drive off the back. You know, again, all four of these shots, hitters are, you know, we're off the back side at this point. You know, well before contact. We're unweighted, um, 
but here we've got a stronger uh, leverage position. Here our position is a little more leverage and here we've allowed the body to kind of open up a bit and get on top. Some of that may be related to, to turning. We, again, we don't want to try to force turn. Um, but I think if you can just, you know, take what you're doing here off the tee, whatever cue you're telling yourself, whether it's, you know, strong front side or keep the head back or, um, you know, whatever it may be and apply that here live, then, you know, then we'll have it. And again, I, you know, I like the steeper path you've got here live. Um, you know, obviously the, the elbow stays a little more bent here off the tee, but, uh, you know that's that's kind of the contact position that we want okay so th those three things you know really perfecting that back arm pattern um, keep the barrel steep keep the elbow bent okay and again when you when you load up when you do wind that elbow up try not to let it pinch behind you you know too far and that's not bad there really that's that's pretty good but you've got a little more pinch back than what what Adrian has um, Keep the elbow bent, keep the barrel in front of you, and let's get a let's get a leverage position more behind that front side. Okay? Not let you know, we don't we want to get away from this feeling to feel like our hands are way out in front of us. You know, you want to feel like your hands are whipping over, and that's great hands. Really all of them are good hands. This one off the tee, really nice too. You can see how they're they're turned over. Um, you know, right with Adrian's. Okay? I mean they're they're right on time with his. Okay, that's really nice. Okay. Okay, and you can see those hands finish. You want to feel like your hands finish, you know, right on top of your front knee behind you. You don't want to feel like your hands are turning over out here in front of you. And that may be another mental cue to help.